Okay, now hopefully you've already been to the previous video um, and you clicked on one of these two errors. And so the, the error that we're gonna be accessing today is the um, error access denied. So if you, during the last video, you got the error access denied or permission, um, you do not have permission to do this type of error, then we're gonna address that in this video today. Now, if you didn't get, if you haven't been to the first video on how to install Composer, you can go ahead and click in this box right here and this box will take you to the original video. Now, I do wanna show you a couple things that I have seen happen in the past. You can, it is possible to sometimes get an error when you're moving the file. So if we go, oh, I already erased it. But when you run, um, when you run this command here, the move composer.far, sometimes you can get access denied. And if you're getting access denied, all you need to do is change the beginning to say sudo, and that's sudo. So it looks like this. It's gonna say sudo space and then the rest of the command and you're gonna move it. And when you run it that way, it's gonna ask you for your password. What the sudo command means is you're saying, I'm the super user, I wanna run this, um, even though you think it's unsafe, I wanna do it anyway. And that's basically what you're saying. And so your computer will double check and make sure you wanna do it by making you type out your password. And then you'll type out the password and then when you and then it will run it, go ahead and um, do everything just like we did here. So depending on your security settings, it's possible that you'll experience this and I just want you to know. So that if you ever get a, um, it says that you don't have permissions to do this, that's how you need to solve the problem. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over to another computer and show you another error that can really trouble a lot of people, especially if you're really, really new to the terminal you and you haven't run a lot of these commands before. It's possible you don't even have a user local bin directory. And if you don't, you're gonna get errors when you try to move stuff there because there's no directory created yet. And so if that's coming happening to you, um, let's go ahead and take a look at how we would handle that.